Hey guys, so I wanted to let you know what was in my birch box. I'm super excited with what I got this time. Definitely not what I got last time. So I wanted to share that with you. And also, um, I did a little haul on Tillys.com. And I'm actually really impressed with the stuff that I got and like the quality of it and how incredibly cheap it was. So anyways, let's get started. Alright, so this is what my birch box looks like, first of all. All that stuff in there. And what you do is you basically pay ten dollars a month to get things that you can't pick out they just kinda randomly come to you so it's honestly like a 50 50 chance to me if you're gonna like it or not and I just wish that you would be able to pick out what was actually in the box that way you would actually be happy with what you got but it's totally random and for example last month I hated every single thing in my birch box it was some nail stripper like a little glove that you put on your hand to like strip off your nail polish which I'm never gonna use um, they gave me a soap bar that smells like gross. Um, it was like a pomegranate soap bar and I didn't like it at all and it was so small I didn't know what the heck I was. It was like a one use type of soap bar. Um, they also gave me this Laura Geller blush which was a, a highlighter and blush duo. The highlighter was yellow and I don't know who the heck uses a yellow highlight but I definitely don't like yellow toned highlights on me. I don't want to look yellow. So I didn't like that and it just came off like sparkles, like glitter. It didn't even come off very much color. And then the other half of it was a blush, which was kind of like a muddy plum color, which I really don't like. Um, so that didn't work out and I forgot what else I got in there, but I didn't like it at all. So anyway, this birch box is definitely a whole lot better. The first thing I got was this Purity One Step Facial Cleanser and um, I've used this before, the big bottle. I actually like went out on a limb and bought the huge bottle of it last summer. Something in it, like the ingredients in it, my face does not like at all and I'm not sure if it's because of the regimen that I'm on, but I use Retin-A Micro... I use Retin-A Micro uh, gel at night on my face and I also use Epiclair K by... well I forgot who it was by, but um... Something like with the regimen that I'm using, it does not like it when I use this product. I can only use a cleanser that has like virtually nothing in it, like the Cetaphil cleanser. This one seriously broke me out last summer so bad in like these little hives or it was like a bunch of little pimples and like patches and stuff. It looked terrible and it took me forever to get it to go away, like at least a couple months. So I am not going to put this on my face again. But for those of you who do like it, it's it's definitely a cool product to have in your birch box because I think I'm like one of the only ones that it doesn't work for me just because of my skincare regimen. Okay, so this is another thing that I got. It's the Redkin Shine Brilliance Shine Flash Glistening Mist. And I used this in my hair today before I did this video. Just makes your hair super shiny. It's a really light white spray. It doesn't hold your hair like a hairspray or anything, but it definitely is great for making your hair shiny. And it's a pretty big bottle of it. 2.1 ounces in here. I also got this Corez Guava Shower Gel which looks like this and I've never used the shower gels from Cora's. I've only used the um, moisturizer which I use every single morning the 24 hour Hydra Wild Rose moisturizer so I was definitely interested to try this out um, I guess I don't really know what guava smells like but it smells really really good it smells fruity kind of like sweet and I actually used it in the shower today and it smells really good it leaves like the smell lingers on you for like a couple hours and that's what I really like. Oh you know what I forgot but I also got a Pure Minerals wait I have it right here yeah Pure Minerals 4-in-1 pressed mineral makeup powder and I got it with um I got it in the color light and I'm wearing it today I like it but I feel like it just kind of makes my face flaky I don't know if it really mattifies it, it just kind of like adds on the dryness look so I'm not sure if I really like that one so much and uh, other than that, I just got this bar right here, which I haven't tried yet. It was just kind of random that it was in there. Um, it's the Almond and Apricot Kind Fruit and Nut Bar. So I'll have to try that out and let you guys know how I like it. Or maybe I'll make Matt eat it because I don't really like nuts and stuff. So um, That is it that I got from my birch box. And now I wanted to talk about um, what I got from Tilly's and from Mark. So... From Mark, I got this right here, which is called Mineral, which is like the weirdest name. I don't know how they came up with that, but it's a foundation, a cream to powder foundation in the color Buff. The only bad part about this was that when I was looking online to figure out like what my color was, I couldn't really tell 
which color would be right for me because it's just like a simple picture of a color and you know those are never like correct so I tried looking online for swatches but no one's really bought this before mainly because it is kind of expensive I believe it's like around $18 or something for this one foundation so I definitely won't be repurchasing it repurchasing it again because it is so similar to the Maybelline dream smooth mousse except it doesn't work as well this one is a lot more drying I would not recommend it for people who have really dry skin like I do I used it today and it kind of made my dry skin come up and then I couldn't cover it again so uh, so far I'm not really liking this foundation mainly I mean because I have dry skin if you have oily skin definitely try it out and let me know how you like it but it is so similar to the Maybelline dream smooth mousse that I would honestly just rather pick up this dream smooth mousse which is cheaper so that's my opinion on it so far and then I also got the Lash All You Want High Volume Mascara, which looks like this. I got it in black, but I haven't tried it yet. I was supposed to use it this morning, but I totally forgot. Here's what the brush looks like. So I'll keep you guys updated on how I like that one. That's... Oh, I also got a bag from Mark, which I'll feature in one of my outfits of the days. I totally forgot to bring it down with me, but I'll show you guys that um, on my blog. Okay, so now on to the clothes that I got from Tilly's. First of all, I wanted to get bandeaus because I hate having to wear a bra and then wearing a cami over it and then your shirt over top because a lot of times when you just wear a bra with a shirt, you can see the bra through the shirt and that's why I always wear a cami. But when you wear a cami, it kind of adds like an extra bulkiness to your outfit and it makes you look fatter than you really are. So I have been wanting bandeaus forever because it's kind of like a bra without needing a cami. So I got this one right here. This one's in a size large and I believe it was only like $6. This one does not fit me at all. Like seriously, it doesn't cover anything on me. Um, if you have like an A or a B, this would definitely fit you perfectly in the size large. But if you have a C or a D or higher, it's not going to fit you at all in the size large. So this didn't work out for me. I might give this to um, Matt's mom to try out, but yeah. So then I decided to get these just in case the lace one didn't fit me. These ones fit me perfectly. This is in a size large. And this bandeau is the seamless bandeau with pads. And it was only $8.99. But the pads are really thin. It's mainly just to hold you up, not to give you any extra padding to make you look bigger. These are just really to hold you up in place and support you. So that's what these look like. I'm actually wearing the black one today. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can't see right now. But um, fits me perfectly. Absolutely love these. So if you are size um, D, I would definitely get the, the size large because it, it fits me perfectly. So, yeah. I like those a lot. And they're really cheap, too. So then I needed more, like, loose uh, cami-type t-shirts. So I got this one. I don't have a white one. So I had to get this one right here. It looks like this. I like how the back is a whole lot longer than the front. I love that type of look. And um, has a cute little pocket in the front. It's just like a regular uh, cami. I don't like the camis that hug my, my frame because um, I like it when it's looser. I, I just personally don't like it when it's too tight on me. And I got this one at a size small for only $16.99. But I think it was cheaper. I don't know. I think this one was on sale and it's just not telling me. Yeah, this one was definitely way cheaper than that. I'll have to give you guys the real price, like right here or something. And then I also got this shirt right here, not because I needed it, but just because I really, really wanted it. And this is what it looks like. It cinches at the waist and um, it buttons down in the front. And it has super beautiful butterflies on it. I just love this shirt so much. I think it's so pretty. I'm so excited to wear this in an outfit of the day. This is what the back looks like. So, I'm really excited about that one. And I think this one was, it was definitely not $37.99. I think it was cheaper than that. So, I will give you the price right here. But I got it in a size small. And then they were having a deal going on. It was a 2 for um, 12 deal. So, I got two of these shirts for only $12. And it's just like a regular oversized shirt. And got sleeves like this that just kind of drape over your shoulders. Um, this is a size small and it's supposed to be like kind of large on you. And this is in the color, I think it was in, yeah, it's just called blue. And so I got 
that and this one for only $12. So this is the same thing and a size small as well, but it's in a coral color. So I'm excited to wear those as well. And then the last uh, shirt that I got, oh, you know what? I also got something else, but I couldn't find it. Um, I got this long one-piece suit. It's like the, the cat kind of one piece. I forgot what those are called, but it like cinches at the waist and it's got a halter neck and it has pants connected to the top that go all the way down. And I got it for only $4 and it's so freaking cute. So I'm going to wear it in an outfit for you guys and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But yeah, um, this one was only $9.97. It's a size small and it's a striped shirt. I absolutely love striped shirts. I think they're so cute. So here's this one. It's like a gray and white striped shirt. And the sleeves are longer. Got a v-neck in the back and the front. And I also ended up getting from Forever 21, my order hasn't come in yet, but I got other striped tank tops to wear that were white and navy blue. I love that combination. I'm, I don't know why, I'm just like really into stripes all of a sudden. I also got this shirt right here from Tilly's. Let me show you it real quick. I'm wearing um, pajama pants, so don't mind those, but <laughs> this is what it looks like. It says love love it's short in the front and then long in the back so the last thing that i wanted to show you guys was these super cute shoes i got from tilly's for only eleven dollars they have so many shoes that are on sale there that are really 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 cute and they're so cheap seriously so go check those out but these ones i got in a size six and they look like this i like the heel because it's a lot thicker. I cannot walk in really thin heels for the life of me. I like twist my ankle every single time I walk so I like the heels that are like a lot thicker and yeah I'm not really good at describing shoes but that is what they look like. And then I want to share this with you guys. I actually these were sent to me by gojane.com but I was going to feature them in an outfit I also wanted to mention them on my YouTube though because I think they are so adorable and these were really cheap. I think they were only $19 or $20 so um, it's got a thin heel so I'm probably going to have trouble walking in it but it has a zipper back and the front looks like this with a tie right here which is so sexy. I think it looks so pretty like that. These are Matt's favorite shoes that I've gotten so far from like my shoe collection. <laughs> So that is it for everything. Thank you guys for watching my haul video. I hope I gave you some ideas on things to get or not to get. Definitely go check out um, Tilly's if you haven't already. I'm pretty sure they're still having a lot of things on sale there. And seriously, this stuff is actually really, really good quality. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.